Good morning. And guess what I made this morning? If you remember, this is a little reference to yesterday's video. The video from last time when I um, decluttered my kitchen drawer and cupboard. Well, that's two videos, but... Well, the cupboard. I found this cookbook and I was about to let it go. It doesn't really spark joy, but the contents do. And I decided to maybe give myself two weeks, but mainly to go ahead and try out a lot of the recipes, as many as I can, as many as um, I feel drawn to, so that I get to um, learn them and then just know them by heart and not need the book anymore. Unless by then the book sparks joy because of what it taught me, but... Um, Ta-da! This is what I made this morning. So yay to me. It's not just me telling myself that, oh, you know, maybe one day this book could be useful. Or, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try out these recipes like one day. Even though it's been with us for so long, this book. Um, Ta-da! I actually made the first one. I added vegan ham. I think it's vegan. It's definitely vegetarian. Um, and I, yeah, I kind of... Um, well, I used the ingredients that I had, so I didn't have all the exact mushrooms, which would be worth trying the exact recipes, because sometimes, like, these cooks that are, like, really good at what they do, they have this insider knowledge that you wouldn't expect this combination or the, those flavors to really do something for you, but then you try it, and it's amazing. So, um, sometimes there are, like, unexpected surprises as to why something tastes so great because technically I think anyone will think hey I mean unless they're like too young to cook that this is actually so easy all you need is bread and mushrooms that's what you would think so it's worth maybe trying out in detail exactly what they made but for now I wanted to just go ahead and try it so that I don't leave this unworked on this book and I utilized what I had which is just tiger bread um try tiger baguette and uh these white mushrooms and that you always get I don't know if that's the exact name but like the normal mushrooms like the most sold ones I think they are um but I love mushrooms so it's gonna be amazing and then I put my own spit on it because instead of like butter I mean this doesn't call for butter but um I know that ham and mushroom and mascarpone goes really well on, on pizza and since I still had this vegetarian ham to like use up before it goes dry and I had mistakenly bought two mascarpone when I needed only half so before they go um, bad on me I put mascarpone at the bottom like where you would put butter and then put some ham on it as well so let's see how that turns out I'm really excited to eat it I love flavors I love food it's gonna be amazing so yeah but just a little to show that maybe I actually stuck to it um, and also because I have some new updates to film I hope I'll get time because at the moment I feel like I don't have I don't know I have um, a lot of things to do but I would love to update you because one development has been really fun it's really to I don't want to spoiler um, spoiler alert this video but they're looking similar and yay <laughs> this is looking better <laughs> Um, just, I don't know. They both look so good. So yay! And then maybe next time I can try it with the fern mushrooms. Of course, like I would need to keep the book till I actually do the exact recipe. So so that I can actually look it up. But at the same time, like I tried it, and it gives me an idea of like like I, I had to read it. So like I just memorize things more easily when I actually read them, and I maybe even like put them into action rather than just having read them once and forgetting about it or just like thinking oh I know how to do this because I saw the picture um so there are some waiting so I'm excited for this one and there are several that oh I wanted to maybe make an egg one like I mean there are non-vegan things here but or non-vegetarian ones but um this one but I figured I can make it with a vegetarian ham the same one again um, but I didn't feel like I had time to make eggs and like, especially poached ones. I mean, this looks kind of poached-ish. I don't know if that's fried or poached. 
because it looks flat for a poached one but kind of too soft for a fried one but uh, poaching them having to take care of i think that's poached and um, really take care of it and um, like so it doesn't like spill and everything that might take some concentration and time so i won't have that today right now but yeah i mean that's it for the update so oh my god like only me knows how to like stretch out a little update about food she made for like five minutes but i hope you like this little video i might make it part of the later updates if i get to them and another thing is i'm not sure if this one's next because yesterday i was inspired to do something different but i will definitely get back to them at some point and i was thinking to do this one before these but that's just a side there's another awesome thing to happen i'll show you how this box got to this tidy state because there was all sorts of things in there. So if you want to watch that. Then check back in with me next time. I might just make it a separate part. It'll be easier to upload. We'll see. So be sure to be back. Let me know you made it to the end of the video. This one wasn't so long. But still if you feel like commenting. I would love to read your input. And do help my channel grow. If, if you would. By giving me likes. And considering subscribing. And sharing my content. See you in the next one. Thanks for being here. Let me know if you're decluttering anything or if you tried any, you know, foods that you've always wanted to make and never really got around to. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me know what it was and how it tasted. And if you have any vegan or vegetarian recipes, share in the comment section. That would be awesome because, yay, I might be lucky to try them out. Um... I don't know if I will need to switch off comments, which would be super sad, and I think I understand there are protection laws, which are obviously for the protection, so it's important. At the same time, like, for YouTubers, it's really unfun to not have any space where you can comment, and other social media manage um, to keep comments alive. And maybe there could be like a separate section on YouTube where comments are allowed and you can discuss things you have watched or something because it would be great if YouTube came up with some sort of um, resolution for that because um, like I don't make my videos for children but you can't control if a child watches your content. And it's just not fun to have no comment section available. But please know that I always think of what you have to say. And oh, I have a Facebook group. I have a Facebook group. No, this video is at eight minutes. But anyway, <laughs> about a bread. Um, it's also called Leah's Tidying World. So if you would like to join there, then we can commence the comments there. So that would be awesome and fun. And I guess the competition gets it. If YouTube unfortunately can't allow comments. Um. To keep going on but i'll have to figure that out and till then i will see you in the next one bye thanks for watching also let me know if this made you hungry and if you went ahead and made a mushroom bread because you couldn't stand it any longer <laughs> unless you had mushrooms if you had mushrooms let me know what your like best mushroom replacement is that your go-to bread basically or go-to food and i'll see you soon Bye.